Experts believe that the next technological frontier is autonomous driving, which is set to unlock billions of dollars worth of value and be one of the most significant social innovations since the introduction of the iPhone. Because of this, Microsoft is making an investment in Cruise, Google has their own self-driving business, and even Apple is attempting to get in on the action. Now it seems that autonomous driving is destined to be a winner-take-all industry due to the nature of the technology. This is similar to how Google now controls the market for search engines and how Tesla is in the front line of EV manufacturing. Tesla's electric vehicle factories are ramping up production for the third quarter of this year to surpass their objective by the end of the year. Now because of this, Tesla's factory aims to generate $300 million in income each year and Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that Giga Texas revenue can reach up to $100 million. Now how will Giga Texas make so much money in one day? To know the answers to this question, make sure to join me in this video as we talk about Tesla's massive plans for Giga Texas. Hey guys, welcome back! And before we get to that, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and let's begin! It would appear that Tesla's Giga factory in Texas is making good progress toward its goal of ramping up the manufacturing of the Model Y. Recent reports say that the Tesla EV production plan in Texas has already attained a production capacity of 5,000 cars per week. Now this is an incredible milestone, especially that the factory was just opened just this year. So a total of 833 Model Ys are produced daily in Giga Texas. And the price of the basic range all-wheel drive version of the Model Y that is manufactured in Texas is $61,990. Taking into account the findings of several economic studies, this places the daily revenue of Giga Texas in the neighborhood of $51.6 million. To put this in perspective, the Giga Texas factory's income is still more than that of the Giga Berlin factory. And Tesla disclosed that the Berlin Giga factory produced about 1,000 vehicles per week at the beginning of June. This is equivalent to approximately 167 automobiles being manufactured every day. Now the Model Y manufactured in Berlin retails for roughly $75,369 and daily income comes at approximately $12.6 million. Because of this, the amount of money brought in by Giga Texas is four times as much as that of Giga Berlin. And since the beginning of the year, Tesla has had the goal of achieving a weekly production rate of 100 automobiles at its Giga Texas facility. This implies that the facility is capable of producing around 1,600 automobiles every single day. Therefore, the daily revenue at Giga Texas around that period may have been close to $100 million. But that is only an estimate of the overall revenue. Because of this, the plant in Giga Texas now needs to spend more money on other things such as the salaries of the employees and many additional operation costs. And the money generated by the plant will likewise see a degree of decrease. Elon Musk had previously cautioned that manufacturing facilities in Berlin and Austin are currently acting as enormous money furnaces. This means gigafactory level operations like those in Berlin and Austin are losing billions of dollars and the company is now facing a significant amount of financial pressure. In addition, the Giga Texas facility is responsible for covering its operational and manufacturing costs, including the cost of power, the cost of water, the cost of input, raw materials, and so on. On the other hand, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has a solution to the financial challenges at Giga Texas that involves borrowing money, a strategy that very few people consider. Before then, when the Giga Texas factory had not yet opened and was still under development, Elon Musk took out loans from various institutions to obtain funds for Tesla and distribute the capital to its manufacturers. To be more specific, Musk owed the investment bank's Goldman Sachs $213 million, Morgan Stanley $209 million, and the Bank of America another $85 million. In addition, Tesla takes out loans from various other sources to invest in constructing the Giga Texas factory's multiple significant unfinished portions. 
It was also discovered by several sources that Tesla had placed an investment of more than $1 billion into the enormous plant located in Austin, Texas to speed up the building of this complex. There is also the possibility that some of that sum comes from a loan provided by Texas to Tesla according to documents that Tesla has reportedly filed with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, the papers provided an overview of Tesla's expenditures on several Giga Texas projects. Now, it's anticipated that Tesla will spend $493 million on the General Assembly, $126 million on painting, $109 million on casting, $150 million on stamping, and $182 million on the body in white. Notably, Tesla has also sought the backing of local tax authorities for the Giga Texas project, and in order to facilitate the construction of the Giga factory in Austin, Texas, the business was granted around $64 million in tax credits from the state and the city. The proponents of the proposal asserted that the newly constructed plant, which would be one of the largest in the country, would be a once-in-a-lifetime chance that would completely revolutionize the area. Tax breaks were provided to Tesla by two different schemes in order for the company to construct its facility in Texas. Both Chapter 313 and Chapter 381 of the state's tax code bore its name. Now, through a 10-year limitation on their taxable property value, the tax limitation scheme known as Chapter 313 enables local school districts to place a ceiling on the total amount of property tax that companies are required to pay in exchange for an agreement to restrict Tesla's property value to $80 million. Del Valle Independent School District will provide a firm with an expected savings of $50.4 million over 15 years. In contrast to this technical marvel of die-casting technology, the Giga Press, the Tesla bot is but a blip on the radar at Giga Texas. The Giga Press is a die-casting machine, and Tesla's ability to manufacture electric vehicles is increased by a factor of 200 thanks to the Giga Press, which is a secret weapon developed by Giga Texas. Tesla never ceases to astonish us with its accomplishments and the mystery surrounding how it does them. At the end of the day, it is always about innovation and business strategy, as well as, of course, its objective to make the world a better place. But the question remains, will Tesla's next step be to dominate the electric vehicle market? Now this question will be answered in another video here at Tech Revolution, so make sure to check out our channel for our latest uploads. Before we wrap things up, make sure to tell us what you think about Tesla's latest move to take over the EV market in the section below. And thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time.